everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. You probably saw the thumbnail, so you know it's a haul. That's right. It's sort of a multifaceted haul. Lots of stuff in here this week, most of it from yesterday. Hello. Because uh, when I got off work yesterday after putting in my 60 plus hours, I said I need a little bit of retail therapy and some barbecue, but that's another story. Um, so, lots of things. Some purchased, some gifted which is always a good time, right? Okay, I'm gonna jump right into it just with stuff that's in front of me because, whoa. Now you may have seen this earlier um, in my uh, vloggy video. I did order some more seeds from jppepperseeds.com. That's Jimmy Pickles. I will have his link above somewhere below because, you know, he's just, <laughs> he's a goofball in his own words, but he runs a great business, so yeah. Now, I ordered, I already have some seeds sprouting. Oh my gosh. Look to the very end of my vloggy video for some of that. And so I ordered some more. Now, he does pepper seeds. He does isolated pepper seeds at that, which means the seeds that you order are the seeds that you're going to get. He, everything is isolated when it's grown. He explains it better than I can, but it's very important if you want the peppers you want. And you know what? As a beginner, you know, like garden person um that's not terribly important to me however i am happy to support a guy that's doing it right um he's you know a business and he's got the the stamps and everything to say that he's allowed to sell seeds so that's very cool he gives you a uh, a sheet with instructions you know little basic instructions on what to do and if you need more uh let's see goog is a thing okay anywho what did I order? What did I get? And he almost always sends freebies as well. I ordered Ahi Dulce, which is going to be, I think, a sweeter one. It says 10 isolated seeds. Y'all, I want you to look at that. Does that look like 10? No, it looks like way more. Okay. Um, I also ordered Ahi Delight, another sweet one. Again, more than 10 seeds. And the seeds keep as long as you treat them well. And Barren Red Beauty. Yes, I'm mostly going for the sweet ones. If you want to see me suffer through hot pepper powder and stuff, look at me um, Wednesdays. Yeah, just saying. Okay, now I did get freebies with this order, which was awesome. Chocolate Habanero, which I did already have some of. I think they were free the last time too, and I, I'm growing them. What the hey, right? Uh, Yellow Ghost. I'll probably grow one of these too because I'm a glutton for punishment because the ghost ones are hot and fish pepper, which I had not heard of. And I think it's pretty flipping cool fish pepper. I don't know if that's focusing. You can go to his website. Like I said, he'll be linked. Uh, let me stick all of this back in its little sack so that I don't lose them because they're, these are little tiny things in this big hot mess over here. Okay. Now that was pepper seeds. And you know, I'm attempting to grow things and I can see my little grow station over there and I'm so excited. Anyhow, um, I went to Ollie's. I also went to Five Below. Um, we will start though with Five Below. Oh, reach it over here. This is not everything I bought. This is just the stuff I chose to show because we bought other stuff for the house too. I did get three of these. These are noodle bowls. And they have the bowl, the little place for the chopsticks with the chopsticks, because yes, I do eat with chopsticks a lot of times. And the really cool soup spoon that's wrapped nicely. It's like a ceramic bowl. It's a good size. And yeah, noodles or rice would be good out of this. Got three of those. They were five bucks a pop. Not bad, considering what it is. I also got these because I really couldn't help myself. The hubby actually pointed them out to me. And when you know, when you have an enabler like that who says, those would be really cute. Yeah, I really can't, uh, can't deny that. Let me pause this so that I can open this. Okay, okay. The packaging was trying really hard to be Deborah proof, but I have prevailed in the end. Oh my God, these are the cutest things ever. And yes, they plug in. They're not Bluetooth. But my phone still has a jack on it. I'm reluctant to give that up because I like being able to plug stuff into it. Oh, and you have to pull the battery tab out of the back to make the ears work, I'm guessing. Oh, and they stretch out so they're big enough for my big head. 
That is awesome. Oh, they're even too big. Hello. Okay, I'll make them fit better later, but those are so cute. Oh my God. Yes, I'm a 51 year old woman and I have cat ear headphones. Suck it up, Buttercup. Next. Oh, speaking of being a 51 year old woman, um, I got some more stickers. Pusheen and Hello Kitty. Books of them. They were two and a quarter a piece. Oh, by the way, those headphones were five bucks. You know, if they don't work very well for very long, they were five bucks, and that's a fun purchase. Something else that was five bucks at five below. This looks like fun to me. Now, if I can drag the hubby into play, the hubby and a friend, and um, that is, and I want my MTV. Um, it's got little cassettes on the, the playing board and everything. And it's a trivia game. Trivia, music, my era. I guess MTV did used to play music for those of you young folks in the audience. Um, matter of fact, I remember when MTV debuted. Okay. Next. Okay. Oh, I also bought this bag. They had their, their little bags for a quarter. I figured, what the hey, I will um, get a bag instead of having to carry more plastic home. Look at what I got. It's a magnetic board. I, you know, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I don't care. It's cute and it's magnetic and I can always get more things to put on there besides just the letters and numbers. And it has the hardware to hang it up and everything. Besides the hardware, I'll probably use a command strip because I kind of live for command strips anymore. All right. That is pretty much five below. There, like I said, there were some other household things and some things that weren't for me. Um, that were in there. So those are long since put away. Oh, and I have got a wonderful friend. My friend Sue, she sent this for me. She said it's a just because gift and I have to show you. She knows and she also loves kitties. And she saw this pendant and had to make me a necklace. Look at this. Let's see if it'll focus. That is a sweet kitty pendant with some beads and I can add more if I want. And she knows I'm always complaining because necklaces are too short on me. This though, this is plenty long enough and it doesn't make me feel like I'm strangulating and it is super, super cute. Thank you, Sue. I do appreciate it. It's beautiful. I do love it. Also from Sue, there was a bit of sorcery. And by sorcery, I mean lock and lock if you don't know what lock and lock is <laughs> it's it's container systems okay they and i wish i could here these little flaps lock down did you think wow i've got one big lock and lock container oh no you open it and there's more there are seven containers in here i kept opening it and it was like they kept getting smaller and smaller and the smallest one is literally this big it's super awesome, and they're meant to be stored this way, which is really cool for me because storage can be an issue sometimes. But look, oh my God, that is the cutest ever, and Lock and Lock is really good stuff. So, I mean, I feel super privileged <laughs> to have this because, yeah, this is not like your Dollar Tree containers, okay, like I usually buy. This is good stuff that will last a long, long time. And the biggest one, in case you're wondering, is 3.4 liters. So 3.6 quarts. The next one down, because I can see through it, is 2.1 liters or 2.2 quarts. And it goes down from there to flippin' minuscule. Super cute, awesome color. Sort of a purplish, a pinkish purple, which you know I love because you know, the pink headphones and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna set that down and we're gonna go back to the stores. Thank you, Sue, again. That wasn't sort of just because, and that just makes me so happy. All right, I bought something that was a little bit of a surprise, even for me, because y'all know that in my Lion Brand haul recently, um, no, it wasn't a Lion Brand haul, hello. It was a Smiley's haul where they sent me Lion Brand knitting needles as a freebie. Knitting needles. Knitting is magic, okay? I don't understand how you do with the two sticks and all of that, but I got a book and I have a feeling this book will not show me all that I need to know to start off and how to even get started at all. But I figure, you know, it says it's for beginners. It didn't say it was for doofuses who think that knitting is magic. So we'll see how that goes. This is it from Ollie's and it was only $2.99. You know, 
it's a book. It'll be fun to go through for book look because there are some cool looking patterns in there. And yes, I know there was no book look today. I'm so sorry. I was unprepared, but we'll have a haul instead if those are always fun. Okay, more from Ollie's. Um, I picked myself up a webcam for my laptop because the camera in my laptop is kind of craptacular. Um, I mean, it is the world's slowest laptop after all. So we're going to see if this works. If not, I might work on something else. It was 20 bucks. We'll see. It says their price, $34.99. I always take that with not just a grain of salt, but with like a whole spoonful of salt because th their, their prices are not always right. But we'll see. It says for video calls and social media recording. And then it says it in French. I don't know why it says it in French. I can't say it in French. Even if I tried, I would be... Yeah, that would be goofy. We're not going to say it in French. I don't have all of my candy over here, though. I got a bunch of candy at Five Below that I forgot about. I mean, I didn't forget about it, but I forgot to show you because they have that section with the candies. Because your girl cannot resist a good sour candy. Anywho, more from Ollie's. What else did I get from Ollie's? Stuff for the house. Not important. I got some potting soil because they had, you know, the stacks and it's name brand. It's, you know, okay. It's probably not the expert good potting soil, but I'm a beginner. It'll do. I'm not going to spend a ton of money. So I got some of that and it was like four bucks. It was not a huge bag. It was, you know, the bag like this, the bag that I need for my little bitty needs. Okay. And as you may have seen in the thumbnail, there was a plastic bag that looked like it had something squishy in it because it did. Yarn, y'all. Yarn. But did I need more yarn? No. I needed more yarn like I needed another hole in my head. But I went to a different Ollie's. This was not the Ollie's I normally go to. This was over in South Carolina. And I was walking around the store. I'm looking for all the things because you never know what you're going to find at Ollie's. Oh, we got a bunch of K-cups too. Oh my gosh. We got a bunch of like cappuccino K-cups. Yeah, because we, we have that new coffee maker that has the dual thing. And we've kind of been going nuts with the K-cups. Again, with the can't help ourselves but they're so yummy and it's so easy. Anywho, and it's cheaper than going to like Dunkin' or Starbucks. Okay, but I was walking around the store and I come around this one end cap and on the end cap are like three enormous boxes with just piles of yarn shoved in them. Are they arranged in any sort of way? No. Are they neat? No. Are they have a bunch of broken ball bands and just, you know, blah, blah, blah? Oh yes, oh yes. So. I kind of picked and picked through and got stuff that I did not already have, and it was a good price. Yes, this one's a little scrambled, but it's okay. It's not bad. This is impeccable, and I've never actually had any impeccable, I don't think. I may have a skein or two. This is um, impeccable. It doesn't say loops and threads. This is an acrylic for medium. The color is mint, and I thought that was a nice, happy spring color. And it's just happy. It just brings a pop of color. Would I wear something completely made of this color? Probably not. But I do a lot of projects that include multiple color things I have going on. Look at my vloggy thing if you want to know. And this will also probably add some cool color to whatever I do for Crochet Tober this year. Nice pop of color. So I got two of those because they were $1.99 each. That's not bad. Okay. And they had some of this very thick squishy yarn cozy wool loops and threads cozy wool look at that let's see the content on this one this is 50 percent wool 50 percent acrylic it's a super bulky six there's some fuzz and it's twisted interestingly i think it would eventually be a bear to frog maybe but you know it's not bad it's it's you can feel the wool can't really smell the wool though which is interesting but um but it's not super scratchy it says that it uses well, it only shows knitting needles well to you too okay anyhow cozy wool it looks cozy it feels cozy this is the color gray something not that i you know, they always put the label over the important bits you know that gray sky okay so that's gray sky. I have one, two, three, I have four of those at $1.99 a piece. I figure with that many, I can make something cool. Even if I just made a hat and a scarf set, 
to send two wings for Rose Likes Crochet. Okay, I have enough. And, of course, there, but wait, there's more. Because, of course, there is. Who are you talking to here? Um, another color. This is the only other color they had. They had two colors in this cozy wool. And this one is Earth Tones, is what it says. Greens and blues and just... I'm trying to describe all the colors in there. There's a bright green and a dark green and a bright blue and a deep blue. I'm hoping that that really comes out on the camera because I think that it's really super pretty. Same stuff as before. Oh, and I forgot to tell you how much was in it. Duh. 127 and a half grams, 82 meters, which is 90 yards in each one of these balls. And otherwise, it's the same stats. Hand wash, don't dry, don't do the other things, don't iron, don't bleach because why would you bleach yarn? I mean, come on. But I did get three of these uh, because that's all I could find in those boxes. I was going to get one more to even it out. But, you know. Anyway, some more size six yarn for my life. And who knows, with the flat giraffe that I'm making for Lisa Ladybird's uh, Mystery Cal, um, that takes a six bulky, so I might make, some, make another one of those if I decide to do that. So there is that. Okay. This has gone on for quite a while. It was kind of a haul this week. And I didn't even show you all the things because, I mean, I bought pork chops at Aldi. You don't want to see the pork chops that I bought at Aldi, although they were a good price. Two seventy nine a pound. That was not bad. Bought bacon because I was, I was out of bacon. We can't have that. So, you know, I did the, sh the grocery shopping. I am still ticked at Aldi for one thing, though. They had the most amazing onion chutney. It was sweet. It was savory. It was delicious on a bagel with some cream cheese, okay? And they don't have it anymore. It's gone. It's just stinking gone. And it was such a good price because, you know, it was Aldi. I have looked for this stuff other places. Find it in different brands, you know, different formulations. And that's like three times the price. I'm too cheap for that. So... Yeah, I have my little beef with Aldi, but I mean, okay, <laughs> not really their fault. <laughs> it's probably been around for a while, but I just found it and got all excited and it's gone. I don't even pout good. It makes me want to laugh when I see myself pouting. So anyway, thank you for coming by. I do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the haul today. And um, what have you bought? Have you been to Ollie's lately? Have you been to Aldi? Have you been to Five Below? Five Below is a fun store. Some of their stuff's a little high priced, but some of it really isn't. And it's just fun to look around and see all the things they have. My only little beef with them at Five Below is they have tons of really cool like t-shirts, different sayings and characters and all that stuff on it. They only go up to an XL. I have not fit into a straight XL um, since I was about 18 years old. Honey, that ship has sailed, okay? So, I'd be happy to pay six bucks for the t-shirt if you could just make it in a bigger size. That's all I'm asking. Fat chick out. <laughs> See y'all soon.